So at the end of February, my husband and I took a road trip out to the West Texas desert and we went to Marfa, which is somewhere we've been many times. It's kind of like our little escape away from the city and just to kind of relax. We stayed at El Cosmico, which is a hotel and campground. You can stay in like little Airstream trailers, teepees, yurts. Um, this time we stayed in a large trailer and it's really, really cute. They try to keep as much of the inside of the trailer original, so to like the 60s and 70s, um, which is what I really like about it. This one had a really nice big kitchen and if you watch our next video, we're actually gonna share a few recipes we made out here as well. Um, but yeah, this one's really spacious, so a cute little kitchen area and then it has um, this seating area and a little bathroom sink as well um, where you can put all your stuff tons of storage too honestly you guys i feel like i could live in this trailer like it's the perfect size um i definitely want one one day <laughs> while we're here in marfa we're excited to take y'all along with us as we check out a few little shops and art galleries um, as well as some restaurants here in town we're going to one tonight that's supposed to have a really good vegan board of locally grown vegetables so we're excited to bring y'all along with us Here are a few beauty essentials that I always bring with me when I come out to the desert. My skin is usually dry anyways, but when I come out here, the air is so dry that it just gets extra parched. And this herbivore Phoenix oil is so good for soothing my dry skin. Put a little bit of this on after the shower. I've also really been enjoying this Biosance squalene and algae eye cream. Just really helps to keep my under eye moisturized. And then my usual face moisturizer, which is this Tatcha, the dewy skin cream. It's really thick, so you only need a little bit, but it just really helps um, lock the moisture in. And then these um, gold under eye masks, I get off Amazon for super cheap. I love just putting these on after I put on my eye cream. It just really helps like lock in the moisture and make me look a little bit more awake.
One place to definitely not miss out if you go to Marfa is Do Your Thing Coffee. They have some really delicious, unique um, coffee drinks as well as they make their own sourdough bread for these toasts and they are so, so good. You guys have to try it. We didn't do it this time, but a couple other things to not miss if you come venture out to Marfa are the Marfa lights. A couple tips to see them. A lot of people um, have come out here and not seen them, but for me, I always go really late. So either like midnight or 1 a.m. And if there's other people there, just wait until they leave because I don't know why, but I've been out there to see them like four or five times and I've only ever seen them when me and my husband are the only ones out there. So um, just wait them out, give your eyes some time to adjust. And um, what are they guys? Aliens, art installation? You guys, you gotta see it. Tell me, tell me what you think. Another really great spot is the Chinati Foundation. There's some amazing permanent sculptures on exhibition there. Um, I couldn't show you guys that anyway, so I don't think they want you to film in there, but um, can't miss it if you come out here. That's pretty bad. For the koozie though? I mean. Another important thing to keep in mind if you visit Marfa or just a lot of small towns in general is that um, a lot of the stores keep really weird hours and you never really know if they're open. So if you come down here, make sure you check out some of the art galleries, but you may just have to wander around the downtown area to see what's open and just pop in. Most of them are free. That's it for this week. Tune in next time for my husband and I making some tacos in that little Airstream trailer. All right, thanks for watching, bye. We found the light. Figured out the secret. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh.